So, good evening everybody. My name is Jordy from Jordy Jones, and I will continue my playthrough of Legend of Grimrock 1 from uh, last week's and the weeks before that. Uh, I apologize, I just realized that the music might be a little bit loud. No, it isn't. It's fine, it's 30%. So then my headphones are a little bit loud. Okay, that's better. All is fine, all is good. All right, uh, yeah. This is a <clears throat> roguelike, this game, what we are playing right now. If you're not familiar with Legend of Grimrock, uh, you move from tile to tile through a dungeon that is situated inside a mountain. And you move from the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain and you hope to get through it because you got tossed inside from the king uh, or by decree of the king and uh, the challenge here is that uh, you get through Mount Grimrock and then your party will live they were uh, uh, partners in crime before and now they are partners in the din dungeon in this dungeon and if they are good enough to survive the dangers and the pitfalls literal pitfalls of uh, the maze of Legend of Grimrock then they are allowed to walk free again once again So, uh, I managed to go through the first 10 or 11 levels of this dungeon and we are closing in on the end game of this dungeon. And this is visually represented also by coming across a new tile set, uh, a new theme so to speak of a new floor that is the prison. At the moment we do not have uh, the means to enter the prison, we are lacking a key, but we are c very close to achieving that key, and that's what we are going to do right now. So, let's look into that. By the way, I welcome everyone who found his or her way to the stream already. Also, I welcome all YouTube viewers. For the guys on stream, a week has passed. And for you guys on YouTube, just a few minutes, so, yeah. YouTube, as always, uh, can enjoy their binge watching. Okay, so this is the room I cleared before, and I did that by pressing this secret button. And I did that immediately when I entered this room and discovered this button. And this entered the uh, state of this room to being like this, right? Uh, the pit here appeared, it was closed before. And there was a teleporter on top of it. And what I miss is stepping inside that teleporter to find out where it actually leads. And I was just assuming... Here's the entrance to this room. I was just assuming when I would... If I stepped into this uh, teleporter, it would just teleport me back to here or something. Right? Something trivial. But in fact, I learned by the help of chat last week that entering this teleporter will bring me to a new area. By the way, this is... Okay, I, uh, I lied. Level... Yeah, no, the prison, the prison will be on level 12. And level 11, that is all I saw from level 11 so far. And you practically bypass level 11 through this little area here. You go down to level 11 uh, on this staircase, you land here, and then you immediately descend further to level 12, where the present prison is situated. And I suspect this area where we are right now, here's our blue arrow, to give us the prison key. But then again, I also suspect this teleporter to bring us somewhere here, so that level 11 will be a little bit larger, right? That would be a pretty short and brief level 11. Right. Okay, so let's find out. Let's step into it. 
We teleport it down here. Okay. So there is no teleportation between levels. At least not that I saw yet. Yeah, yeah, I see that. There's something on the alt altar laying there for me to grab. I wanted to check for secrets first. Hmm. Ah! This opens this door. Finally, I know how this opens. Haha! <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so before we grab this, grabbing keys off of alta altars usually is a trigger for something bad. So we open the door first in case something happens so that we can run out immediately. Alright, nothing happens. Sweet. And as expected, uh, we found the prison key. So now we can enter the prison on level 12, so I was not lying, level 12 is the next step. Also let's grab the torches here. And mic this as a used torch. Right. Do we have other used torches? No. Alright, so you stay here for a second while so with that key let's immediately advance into the prison and as I said here we have a new tile set no more dungeony stony walls stone bricky walls no this is more like muddy green metal stuff metal rusty stuff well Royal key holder Bruno Oh what happened? Uh oh I immediately start a dream. You are close enough now. I don't have to wait for you to be asleep anymore. What what if something happens while we are conversing, dude? To my body. Huh? You didn't think about that, didn't you did you? Uh, okay. A long time ago, they closed the portal by breaking the mechanism. It is here, nearby. Find it. Uh huh. Okay. Will do, Mr. Questgiver. Will do. Okay. No baddies so far, but I heard them before. Also, I have to learn new secret buttons. If any. There is a bad guy. Thankfully only one. Let's hope it stays that way. Ah! Yeah, the first attack is the fastest of them all. And I have problems evading it. Ah! My balls! No! Oh, there's a new one coming. I have to speed up. I don't want to get dunked. Die, die, die. Fast. Quick. Okay. Okay. I want that my ball, my quarrel back. My quarrel needs to be achieved. We achieved. Oh no, god damn it, did it fall down there? Oh no. Go away. Wait, two of them? No, just one. It's just it's a statue of some kind. This looks living to me. Ouch! Yeah, kick him in the face! That's satisfying. And jab him and kick him and precision strike him. Crawl to the tentacle. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Okay. Now this looks very much as if it were living. So where did we stand and fire that bolt? I guess it was here and it indeed leads us to a pit. You know what? I really want my bolt back. <laughs> there it is. I'm hearing a snake. Should I be alarmed? <laughs> Oh, mm, yum yum, food. How are we food wise? Ouch! Ah! It's not a snake, it's a bee! Don't disease me! Oh! My bolt! I'm hearing more bees. Yeah, I picked that up, large gear, and that will, of course, encumber me. Uh, my bolt flew away. Oh, these bees, they are... Driving me crazy. Get me my bolt back, please. There you go, thank you. Now I can go back to where I was. Did I see the bee? No. Okay, I think this is part of the machine I have to collect, but it's so heavy. Let me have a look. He could be... No. Oh, look at this. It's 21 kilograms? No way. No way anybody could... Ah, there it is, the bee. There it is, the bee. Come on! Stop your incessant hacking away at me! There you go! That's how you deal with these suckers. Oh, they're still diseased. I don't like that at all. And we are hungry. And we only have one health on Breon. Why is that? I want more health potions on him. We have enough of our healing ingredients, uh, alchemy ingredients, so that everyone should have two of them at all times. Alright, so everyone eats a steak, please, and I will eat a herder cap. And me being Breal. Ah! More bees! No! Not now! I'm I'm in the process of eating! Okay. Now no one is encumbered anymore. Fine. Why do these enemies always attack when you at least expect them to do that? It is, it is as if they really want to hurt you or something. Okay, are they uh, constantly respawning or... I see how it is. Oh, come on. There you go. I wish they would, they would just shut up. So what did we just find here if we find a large gear and I guess we need that somewhere else on this level and we can get rid of it yeah we will need it to get out of here no entrance says this door okay what do we have down here a tattered cloak nothing we need oh shit <laughs> Sorry guys, that was a misclick. Very interesting. I like this tile set. The walls look sweet. 
Not what I... Uh, nothing I would like my walls to look like, but... Nonetheless, for this dungeon... Steam canister. 7.5 kilograms. Ah! Ta-da! Secret found. And we have a crate of some sort. What's in the here? Okay. Alchemy stuff. Not sure I need this, but I need this, definitely. So, drop this down. Let's see. How many empty bottles do we have? Flasks? Three? Maybe four? We don't need that sulfurous potion, to be honest. Yeah, let's drink that and get the flask and make more health potions. Good. He's raging now. So, um... Everyone now has three health potions. Isn't that great? After I'm finished brewing my stuff, that is. Okay. And I'm still encumbered now. That's bad. <laughs> that is bad because I'm uh, carrying all my... Uh, all the bombs here. All the bombs. I think he can take something off of you. Like the slime bells? Yeah. Okay. No, who's now? Uh, now he's overloaded. Still. Oh, come on. Seriously? Because of the healing potions? Okay. 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 There's something else in here? Can I... Sneak up on me like that! You can't do that! I'm getting a heart attack here! Uh, Alright. So, we found that steam thingy. Okay, I didn't forget that. Okay, can't do anything to this. There is a torch lying on the floor. That's suspicious. Whatever. What do we have here? A fume nozzle. And that weighs... 15 kilograms. Okay, what's this? What's this? Another secret. Okay, and it has some stuff to eat and a bomb. Four fire bombs. I'm sure I can't. I, I can't carry this. Oh my goodness! How are we going to? We could need some strength or so. Don't we have plus strength stuff? I, I thought I had plus strength stuff on someone. I think she is wearing it. No? Why is she wearing leather gloves for protection? Oh, I think it doesn't, doesn't matter. Hmm... <laughs> ah, here! Strength plus three, circlet of war. If 
I take that off her, she's still not encumbered. So, how about you wear this? And you wear this, and our problems are gone. Sweet. Okay, more food. Really having a problem here now. Uh, I mean, I'm carrying three rocks, but rocks are cool. Rocks are cool. This guy can't hold shit. Maybe if I um, sacrifice. The crates. It weighs three kilograms in and of itself, right? Oh, wait. What? What? I heard the. So I consumed something while just avoiding. God damn it. What did I consume? Something to eat? Well, that's fine. That's fine then. Um, give him that, and he's encumbered again. Didn't help much, did it? But he could take the bread. That was good. What about the baked maggot? Yeah, he can take the baked maggot. How about the boiled crack beetle? Also good. <coughs> yeah, I think the rest is fine. So he's carrying some food and some alchemy stuff. And we got rid of a wooden crate, which is fine. Okay. Let's explore some more. What else is here? A metal frame. Two kilograms. Okay. Ah! Dudes, please. gear two kilograms and another large gear I mean I can move the large gear without putting it into any inventory I think that's the solution right <laughs> why is there suddenly another hydra or hydra or whatever This is how, how it's going to be here, right? I pick that up and I put it next to the metal frame because I don't know exactly where I need this stuff. I will just put it down here. So this here is collapsed. Uh, parts. Okay. What else? 
else? What else? Okay, the torch is going out now. That's fine. More, more baked maggots. Also collapsed. Okay. Well, whoa, okay. And we will fight versus, uh, we will fight against this Hydra on the next part. Uh, for the YouTube viewers, stream viewers, you can stay here because this will continue in uh, three to five seconds. So, YouTubers.